Where are you living? Currently, I'm living in West Hollywood, uh, just down the street from the Viper River. And you want to be an actor? Absolutely. Oh, without a doubt. How old were you when you moved to, Cal to California? 16. Where'd you stay? West Hollywood. I could write an interesting role for you. Maybe we should try to seduce your father into being a partner. I'm trying to put some money together here. Was where you are now, was that a goal? Did you have a sense of that? But that's the best part about Los Angeles. It's filled with all these like Don Quixote type characters. You know, people who have come from, everyone's left their families, their homes, their friends, their jobs to pursue a dream where they know that the percentage of them achieving that dream is never, and they do it anyway. And everyone has shared the same dream and no one's sure if it was a premonition or a delusion. And there's only one way to find out. Ben Schneider. Ben is, ben is the son of one, yeah, and, he, and he's a, a, budding, a budding actor, and I said he's a handsome. You want to be an actor? Yes. I've been, I've been acting why? since I was, why? You know, you're lucky to get an audition, then you get it, you get there, you walk into a room full of guys that look just like you, you realize you're not the only one that wore the cowboy hat, then you can hear the other guy in the other room auditioning, and now you're thinking about not doing it like him, as opposed to doing it the way that you wanted to do it. Then before you go in, you hear the casting director negotiating the deal for the guy that already got the part. Yeah. Turns out Jared Leto already got it. Yeah. You know? Then you go in, you think you're doing an act. You just say, I'll do it as an acting exercise. I know I'm not gonna get it, I'll just, I'll just take it as an experience, you know? <laughs> and then you get to the scene where you're supposed to cry over your friend, and you get the tears going, and you're emotional, and then she gets a call, and asks you to leave the room. You're trying to keep the tears up, but it's 10 minutes because you're waiting out there, and you're trying to keep in the zone, and you lose it, and you come back, and you want to pick it up. You want to start again, but she makes you pick it up where you left off. You go to your car, you got a parking ticket, <laughs> because the street cleaning sign has been covered by the auditions this way sign. Then you get in your car, you, you change, you muster up, uh, you know, the guts to go back to until you go to another one, and you know, and you wait in traffic for two hours and you go through it again. I think we had a nice connection, the three of us, don't you? I bet if I write an ambitious, original role for him, he'll jump on board right away and the money will click in immediately. Because the one thing we're seeing here is that money follows stars, right? Jessica Chastain could be the woman, and Nev can be the wife you divorced, or who divorced you before you left. 